Oh, you're live, man. Friday, Friday Night, Night Flies with Scotty Holmes. Um, yeah, I just got back today. I was out at the, the uh, Cast and Blast in Squamish, uh, checking out some long belly line casting, which was a lot of fun. Uh, as I was just saying to the boys, the longest cast today was from uh, Tim from My Fly Shop in Vancouver, and his longest cast was 167 or 168 feet. And I think he blasted one out there around 180. It was insane. That's so, got to be a world record. No, the world record is 199 point something feet. It's world record, and that was that was done this year at the uh, at Spayorama in San Francisco. What's the world record? Help me. It's 199 feet. Oh, yeah, man, I and, can't even. Imagine. Yeah, and the guy in his forecast that they did like for for the for the contest, his total forecast thing was like 780 feet or something like that. Like every Jeez. cast was 180 feet or better or something. Like that it was ridiculous. But yeah, I learned a lot. Saw a lot of uh, some cool casting and stuff like that. But uh, you know, we're back down to Friday Night Flies here in Pemberton, the beautiful what town you, of Pemberton. I'm gonna tie a, a Prince Nim, just the same as Scotty did, but, but with the Friday Night with the Friday Night Flies flair. Okay, <laughs> flair. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> that was more like a spit. That was a spit. That was like something that coming out of my my mouth. Was good. So there's a there's a, a little selection of. Uh, here, let's go down to the bottom okay. vice, and uh, you can just hold it right near the vice. There it is, a little bit back, back toward the vice. There you go, down a little bit, right there, money. Okay, oh, buddy, look at them all. Yeah, okay. yeah. you better well, leave that little chunk of foam here. I got a good idea. <laughs> what to do okay, with well, this. and these are these are a little bit bigger, a lot bigger <laughs> than what Scotty's just time. Just your time. Um, but yeah, there's lots of variations, different bead colors, and um, positive they're all going to catch fish. I haven't you ever used the orange head one yet. But the other ones I've used them. Well, hey, I'll test it out for you. How about that? I, I just like orange. Like it, it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna tie a nymph, you gotta orange. tie one in orange just orange to see. Pink? Just like to pink see. Pink just pink. to see. I like okay. pink too, man. Okay, so let's get down to business here. Get, get this thing tied. No more regurgitating. Yeah, don't be spitting all over the mic and the yeah, yeah, cameras. yeah. Jeez. Obviously, eh? Obviously. Okay, so we got that on there, and we're gonna tie on our lead wire. Mine's a lot heavier than Scotty's is. There's no question to you. That's a big bead, a big tungsten bead. Oh, yeah. Tonight, I'm going to just add to, if you missed the first show, uh, myself, Scotty uh, Boulder, made a new Facebook page. So get in the loop with all the cool kids here at Friday Night Flies. Um, www.facebook.com slash Friday Night Flies. Go there. Like us. I like us. We're, we're hard not to like. You know, so get in there, like us. Let's make it a big, big page, and we'll try our best to inform everybody and keep up to date with some cool pictures and maybe a few fishy pictures too. A few fishy pictures are always good. Um, so yeah, do your little pinch technique to get rid of the uh, the lead. Tie on your thread. That run. That was awful. I wrecked my thread tying all or my scissors after sharpening. I wrecked them tying all those grasshoppers. The, the, they're sharp still, but not the tip, not the tip. What sucks? So now we're gonna we're gonna tie on our. Uh, those don't look like cheap scissors either. No, those are nice scissors. Those are expensive scissors, right? Yeah. Not just, not expensive, but not cheap. So these uh, the the rubber legs and the whole theory behind my rubber legs are is that the bias just get destroyed on these flies. Both two fish in, man. They're toast. Yeah, they're I'm, done. So I'm with you. I mean, right, they, so. That's the turkey bots for you, or where, where you you got the turkey bots? Is that what you're using? Yeah, turkey bots for the legs. I got a lot of all these ones here. These are all turkey bots. I almost like pheasant tail better. You almost like pheasant tail better. Well, I have to say that I like them better. Okay. As a tail. Okay, so we're gonna tie on our. Uh, well, actually, no, we will put on our legs. Sometimes I, I like to put on the, uh, the rib first. We want to get back to our starting spot which is going to be just in front of the bar over the hook. And the nice thing about these, too, is that you can cut them once they're uh, done. So you can adjust your length. Are you getting the, the rubber leg thing figured out? They're not easy, are they? Hmm. Especially when you're just trying to stick it to a... Well, you, especially uh, when you want it in <laughs> one spot only, right? Yeah. And live. I mean, typically you'll probably curse and swear a couple times, you know? But not when there's kids and 
gentlemen and ladies watching. You can't do that kind of stuff. The key is to keep your thread short. Tuck that by it underneath or that leg underneath and get it on. Okay. It's just going to toss me around here. Maybe I should have gone with the buy it, eh? Oh, I'll rubber leg it. Already told all the fans you're doing it. Yeah, I know. Everybody was like, yeah! Rubber legs! They're awesome! Look how fuck Scott work with rubber legs. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't imagine Scott without rubber legs. It's funny, they piss you off so much. <laughs> They do. Oh, <laughs> but the key is, see, I, I always, I'm always trying to get it in that exact first wrap. And then, once you get them on there, after lots of fiddling, which it shouldn't be that much fiddling, Come on. So I'm going to do that photo for the G plus. The big background one. Yeah. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll change that right now. So we can okay, now we're going to get our rib in there. Wherever that is. After all my fiddling. I do think they're worth it. need a little bit of extra time or if you just get them on there quickly then it's no extra time um, I'm using my and you want to go back to that original starting spot helicopter that wire off there throw it at the camera and you can start getting your peacocker already and this is a lot bigger fly than Scotty's fly so you need definitely more peacock curl and I've been doing sort of equal amounts of both Get off there. You want to stack those tips? And you need to get the long ones of the red because did you get your password long last stuff? Yeah. I got your email. Did you log into it? No. Just maybe for you. So you want to go over it? I didn't want to fuck in the email. Well, I've, I've got it set that you can't. Mm -hmm. Like, I've, I've got the plugins and a lot of stuff that they're locked. So, because that's the only time that you can really mess something up if you don't. Because if you go to get rid of that access peacock, looks like it's They're down. And if, you, and if I don't know what you did, it would be a nightmare to fix. Oh, yeah. Because I have to go on the okay. And, and then on we want to get. And we want to wrap server and go through all final yeah. years. Up on our we'll lead. We'll wait and we'll do it proper. We'll sit down and. Well, you're bound to fuck up. I'm not doubting that, but I mean, just do what you're doing. Like the picture. And just secure that in. Right. Any pictures. Mm -hmm. And put some videos on there. Whatever, man. You can have your own. Okay, and then we're going to get it. We want our thread to be at the top. Off. You just can't finish. Put back in. No, I got so it's super I'm going to counter wrap. Do that with bracket. Oh, 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 oh the, the emails. Yeah, I don't do that. I haven't done that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be. 
how do you get to those things? How do you go to the next year? It's just through like, like through so, Finder. Oh, well, no, I'll do through Chris Finder and then I'll do one through uh, Friday Night Boys. Yeah. It's not that, it's just time. Right? I just kind of, I totally forgot about it. Remind me more. Okay. And like first thing, I even come in the morning and I'll go over all the time. Just want to get my morning, thread in position there. Bring your dog to the right room. at the end. Stick these out. Pick up the other dog, the groomers. And then come by after the groomers. And then we have again. Give that a couple of good secure wraps to make sure it's in there. You guys want to do dinner on Sunday? And then we're going to wrap our copper wire up. I might do fish on Sunday. In the medium, and I like the medium. It, not it's sure. not as flashy as the gold tinsel, but it definitely makes the fly stronger. Oh, right at that lead there. And heavier too. That'll get her down. And it, yeah, it helps put put it down too. Get her down. Get rid of my wire. And then get my goose, or not my uh, my uh, partridge feather. And I've already just stripped the back off of it. Get rid of all that downy bits. And I want to put it on so that it goes. The curve of the feather follows the back of the shank of the hook. And then just tie it in. Break that off, and then we're going to tie this up. Ooh, I captured quite a few um, little bits of the feather there, but this is a pretty big feather because you don't need a whole. Oh, don't break it. Okay, well, that's why. You have a backup. I had a backup. This is a little bit, a lot smaller of a feather. So I'm not going to get as it many wraps. It's really raining out there right now, eh? Corey. But I can hear, that's, if you can hear that in the background, it sounds like water running. It's because it is. Come on. That's the roof drainage system. Yeah, you can walk the back and inside here. So it doesn't turn this. In the winter time. Okay. All right, move them cutty then. We're just gonna get all this as much as possible to the one side. This is a really small feather. Yeah, I saw those my new boots came in. I tried them yesterday and they're sitting there. No more shoe goo boots for me. Oh, look at that. Grabs hold of it. And that's pretty much all you're going to get. That's all you pretty well need. Yeah. Trim that really tight, and then just sort of comb all this and get it off the top and just down the sides. And now we're gonna put on our goose plats. The neat bird. Peacock. Yeah. Peacock. It's so weird how the colors grow in like that. Talk about an annoying bird, though. Oh yeah. You ever hear of them? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. And you want the you want these bites to be about as long as the total body of the hook. Just coming past the the shank there.
and I'm tying with red so that I have I finish with a red hot spot. Something like that. Okay, and then we'll get rid of these by it ends with my sharp scissors. Beautiful. And you can try to poke those in underneath or whatever. I really don't care. Some of them I've, I've poked them right in. Oh, I got a little bit on the bottom that I still need to get rid of. And I want those bites in there. Unlike Scotty, I don't. I want a nice. It's a bigger fly. If I was really looking to have it slim down, I could ditch the lead for sure. But as I said, this is. It almost looks like a dragon. <laughs> it covers the bases. Oh, I mean, in they that covers the bases lots. In that video, Absolutely. in this video, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Like I mean, if you look at how big Scott's fingernails are and how dirty they are from spending the day in the kitchen. They, uh, it gives you a rough idea. Like if you held a dime up beside it, the dime would completely cover that fly. It's just, it's a big fly. Technology nowadays. It's amazing. And same thing. These ones here, especially on that buy it. Not that much head snags. And I'm daring. Scotty's right. It does tend to get a little bit in those feathers, but you know, a little I bit don't, more room to work with on that one. Yeah, definitely. So, okay, I'll roll it around. Let's have a look. Give her a wait. Just give me a quick here. second. But how would you sharpen these scissors? Send Just with a sandpaper. Send them to a specialist. Yeah, send them to someone. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, it looks good, Scott. It looks really good. I had I had a few problems. I was spitting at you, and uh, those rubber legs those kicked rubber my legs. ass again. As and then you broke a feather. I don't, hey, yeah, that's okay, I, but that's real life. Yeah, I mean, no know, matter what you're doing, you're going to – I mean, this is real. This is live, unedited. Yeah, so and, and you know what? I don't try. always tie. I have yeah. lots of times where it just seems that it's the more that you try to – with certain things when your time flies the harder you try it just seems to get worse right yeah. oh yeah and i mean you've got that camera pointing right down your throat too which doesn't help either yeah especially when you have a million viewers watching uh, what one oh, yeah. or two million viewers yeah well, occasionally there is two million yeah okay well there you go are we you're down low top. still yeah you're up top, buddy. okay well there. friday night flies scotty holmes uh saying i hope you get out there and do some fishing i mean uh cutties are here or soon to be on the river here they're not quite on the river yet but um yeah it's gonna happen soon and it's gonna be lots of fish and i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a couple prince nymphs at them i think throw that hot hot orange one and see if it catches me some fish um yeah it's great to have the facebook page great to have a way that you guys can uh give us some feedback easily so join the club be part of the yeah, friday night flies www.facebook.com slash Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies. I guess I should know that better, but I was just kind of cute. You were looking for some guidance here, but that's okay. It's all good. We got her under control. Um, yeah, so Scotty Holmes, until next time, it's Friday Night Flies. <laughs>